and welcome back to Nomoria, where I've only been a little bit doing stuff because we had some uh, guests show up. Didn't even know they were here until I saw this message. Monitor Lizard has died. So I was like, oh, it's a hostile. So anyways, we decided to mine over here because we needed some more, um, I want to say I was going for silver, and then it turned into tin, and then it turned into malachite. So we got quite a bit of malachite now um, for lots of traps and whatnots. Uh, the tinkers are almost there, so it's I can't remember. I want to say we get some more traps and stuff. Like eventually we'll get guns, but I want to say that's more near the end. They're called blunderbusses. They're pretty cool. So we got the stuff. We're just waiting on a couple more things, then we can build the jewelry uh, stations. But let's go ahead and get to the action real quick. <laughs> as far as I know, it's nighttime. So I, as you can see, this was the strategy. I uh, I laid up around our base, and I was like, uh. Eh, I got torches. I might as well start putting some out here. So I put them out here so we kind of know what's out there when they spawn because they seem to be spawning in this one spot a lot. Uh, and as far as I can see, it's only been an ogre and one dude. So I don't know if I missed them and this is all that's left. But um, I'm going to assume it is because, I mean, they're wandering, but I don't see any raiders, which is very odd. Like, usually there's always raiders. So I kind of feel like I might have missed something. So hopefully I didn't. And uh, why is there an axe over here? A worn bronze hand axe. Is that, oh, because I got the stockpile turned off for that. Okay, so before we go do this, we gotta suspend this. Uh, the door once stopped. Um, there are no blocks. Yes, there is, there's gonna be one block. So we wanna turn this off as well. Suspend that. Oh wait, no, it's been unsuspended this whole time. Oops, I forgot to do that. Okay, so weapons bodies and blocks that's all that should be over here so we're gonna get our archers to see how many archers we have before we actually open up these doors then we get carried away what is this it's a quiver why is somebody dropped a quiver i'm some cool i'm confused okay design area right there guard we're gonna put these guys right here for now actually you know we're gonna put them over here in this corner and then that was let's see time zone would be this one and it would be these guys. So hopefully we should be getting some new people pretty soon. It is the eighth day. Um, so we still got a few more days before the end of the month or season. So there's one archer, two archers. Can we get a third archer? Did all three show up? No. I thought I only counted two. Alright, well that should be fine. Um, and then, it is daytime, so we can actually see- oh, oh my goodness, okay, that's why I didn't see anything. We have two ogres. Oh man. Is that it though? Nope, there's some more. Okay, see, I knew there had to be- oh, I see. So they were hiding over- oh my goodness, okay. You guys probably can't see this, but we have one fighter. He's wearing bronze, so he doesn't have, you know, pants and stuff. Um... We've got two ogres, which is going to be kind of tricky. We also have, of course, one goblin raider, it looks like. And we have two others. Nope, here's another goblin raider. Okay, so we have two raiders, but look at this dude. He's hiding behind here. Can I get it? Let's rotate. Apparently I can't rotate when I'm in there. Rotate. Look at this. Is that a very big fighter? It is, okay. So we got one guy with a hand axe, a shield, and iron helmet and iron breastplate. And then, oh, okay. Whew. It's two fighters, okay. Whew. I was going to say, if we had to fight two warriors, or at least two, a warrior and a fighter. But yeah, we're getting up there, because apparently our head bounty is getting much higher, because they sent two ogres and two iron dudes. Okay. Um, so I was going to say, if we can handle them by ourselves, I was just going to send one group in there to take out the two, but no, we're going to need more. So let's set up guard stations, make sure these guys are equipped. Maybe we'll throw them in there before the end, you know, unlike last time where we pretty much shot them to death. <laughs> kind of cheap, but hey, survival of the fittest and smartest right here. Scolding bringers? Yes. So battle warriors and uh, hammerers. Going and bringers. See how many people are actually awake before we open up. I mean, uh, two archers can do a lot of damage, but I don't want to rely on them completely. I'd like to do a, kind of more fair fight, so 
Like, if we could whittle away some of them and then throw these guys in there. I think we can. We've got three of these guys and three of those. That's decent. I mean, two hammers, one axe. Oh no! We got three hammers and an axe. Okay. Yeah, I think we got this, guys. Okay. Uh, go down here. Deconstruct this block. And, nope, not that one. That one. I don't think I have anything else being constructed right now, so they should do this kind of quickly. What am I having them do? Nothing. Are all my builders asleep? Cancel this job. Let's pause real quick. Or not. No! Why is it they got this a skeleton? Oh, great! <laughs> That's cool. I don't know where these guys are coming from. Um, let's go ahead and send that one squad. No, 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 no. Um, the hammer people should be able to handle him. He's just one, right? One skeleton with a hatchet. Where the heck did they come from? I'm wondering if it's because they're spawning on these steps. Because they're technically part of these steps. That's the only thing I could think of. This whole thing's lit up. We might have to actually light up our living area. That's the only thing I could think of. Otherwise, that's a long way for them to actually get upstairs. Um, why is this not task stock items? Why is the task to stock a floor? That's even more confusing. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. let's go back up here. I can't believe all my builders are asleep, but we're going to check this. Population. Assign. Idle. Sleeping. Sleeping. Crafting item. Sleeping. Okay. Population. What are my builders doing? That has them crafting stuff. Builder. Oh, I have them doing cloth stuff. Okay. That's fine. Finish your job, quickly. We've got ogres and stuff waiting for us. And this yak is too hungry to wait for the rancher to do their job, so they're gonna go do it for them. <laughs> Come on! No? A skeleton has died. Good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Who actually killed? Because I want to say those guys didn't even make it there in time. And, uh. Monster Lizard. Skeleton gets up. Skeleton's. What's this? Skeleton's neck has been mangled and it's knocked back. Wow. Uh. Ping Zinc. Yeah, brings the, the, the axe to the thing. It's mangled. Okay, headshot. Come on, builders! I gotta double check something. I can't believe they're not doing their job. They've been building so much, so... Build, tinker, workshop. Yes. Someone needs to get on top of this. Are you the builder? No, you're a farmer. You're a rancher. Where the heck did all my builders go? Population. Replacing wall. What are you... Oh! Oh! Oh, I lied. I did have a bunch of stuff over here. Cancel. Cancel all that. <laughs> I have another wall to uh, take care of first. I was trying to think of what I was doing with them because I know I wasn't working on any walls. I forgot I was doing all that. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we got bolts. Uh, quite a bit of bolts everywhere. Should be able to handle these guys. And then, actually, we have some... Uh, merchants that should be maybe coming up. Are they all asleep now? I was going to say, I've never seen uh, goblins meet merchants, and I was kind of curious to see like if they completely ignored the merchants, or if they would actually try to fight them. Oh, somebody's already been shot. Nice. See, goblin raiders, they get shot up always first. Because <laughs> they're the quickest, usually. They don't have any armor, so they always get there before everyone. And now they're going to all in here. Oh man, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six goblins and two ogres. It's quite a bit. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. I wish they didn't do this every single time. Attack. I don't want you guys to fight these people. I really don't. I want them to go inside first, get shot up, and then, um, you know, then you can do your job. But not right now. Like, I figured if I put them in defense mode, they wouldn't want to do it, but they did this last time, too, I believe. They decided they wanted to fight them right off the bat. Attack. 
So now the ogre. Dot, dot, dot. Common fighter. Okay. Another ogre. Du, du, du. And then. Did I already do this one? No, I didn't. And then the last one is Goblin Blood, so we can't actually cancel that fight. There we go. That's a lot of bleeding going on right now. Oh, 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 before I forget, I gotta move these guys again. Oops, doesn't it area to right here. And that'll be da, 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 these guys. Just in case. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they can't shoot down. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to aim at that angle. So, that's fine. I'm going to let these guys shoot a few people, because I don't think anyone's died, right? Combat events. Spotted, spotted, spotted. Skeletons died. Yeah, no one's died. Let's whittle them down a little bit before we send the warriors in. Like, if we could take out at least a couple of these people, Goblin has died. Just a Goblin Raider. Like, a couple of these guys with armor would be kind of nice. But if anything, at least the Goblins that aren't defended. Oh, you're gonna go sleep now. I wish that was a thing, too. They wouldn't go to sleep. At least you got a replacement. That was good timing. Okay. Oh, and now they have to shoot. Apparently they can't shoot here too. Okay, I have to remember that. Now we have to move over. Let's see. It's hard to manage this. One, two, three. So one, two, three. You gotta stand here now. I just want to kill a couple more. Yeah, that should be good. Another goblin has died. Goblin is blood to death. Okay, there we go. Now I feel comfortable with attacking with the Cleveland Foundations on the Ogre. And then the Goblin Fighter um, with Iron. We're going to attack with the Big Hammer people, which would be these guys. Go forth, my gnomes. I know you have to open up a lot of doors, but it's much... Oh, no, another ogre died. Jeff Fizzle? Wait, 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 wait. What did it say about Jeff Fizzle? Jeff Fizzle has invented the mechanical wall. Yes! We can finally do the mechanical walls, guys. We don't have to do a block, build it, and rebuild it every single time. We have knowledge. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? Do we need the miner? Stocking items. What are you stocking? I hate when people do this. Um, we have no doors. The bodies. Oh, the bodies were suspended and I forgot to unsuspend them. Okay. Or I unsuspended them, actually. Go back. Go back. It's fine. Another ogre has died. Oh my goodness, those archers are doing way more damage than I was expecting them to do. That's fine, because you guys need to go back in there. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Attack. Okay, attack. There we go. So we got just the two guys with uh, armor right now. Goblin has died. I think it's the last one. Let's actually check this. Let's see. Box like order bug. Yeah, it's just the one guy left. There we go. And now this is perfect timing because it knows it is safe. Let's go ahead and take a little peek. Just a little peek. Um. Oh my goodness. Pingyro versus the goblin. Goblins uh, smashing the door. Oh my goodness, could be a lot of goblin ones. Pingyro versus the goblin. Uh, goblin, 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 goblin. Oh my goodness. Group fight. Um, swings his boxite door. Oh, this is cool. This goblin swings his boxite door at the boxite door, smashing the boxite door. Can you say that three times faster? Goblin has bled to death. Okay. <laughs> Pingyro versus. Oh, look at this. Bronze bolt from this uh, trench conqueror. Oh, did he get a new name for his bolt too? At the goblin, hitting the upper body, poking the skin, and piercing through the heart. Oh my goodness, Pingyro. Deadly aim. There's a headshot against the ogre. 
Um, headshot against that ogre. Wow. Uh, shot him through the heart. And then shot him through the heart. Wow. That was pretty epic. Okay. Wanted to lose his eye. That was the previous one. Gets up. That was with a skeleton. Yeah. That was amazing shots. There's a lot of headshots going on there. Okay. Now we can go back here and unsuspend this. We can... I guess we can unsuspend that as well. And then we can unsuspend the body one. And that should do it. So now we can actually build some walls and have the death box completely, you know, maintenance easier. You know, we don't have to go in there, walk through all these doors, um, and do all that stuff. So let's see. We want to rebuild all these doors, though, because we want to keep them there to slow down people. So furniture, stone door, bauxite oil. Let's see. And I went through quite a few this time. Do, do. It's right there. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't think I had any on the ends there. Okay. Oh, shoot. I just realized we're going to have to have to... Uh, we're going to have to dig and build here a little bit. I forgot we have to link that up. Well, I could actually put a connector there. It's fine. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So let's go ahead. D can do all these guys so they can go about and do their there's things go go forth go forth go forth and go forth okay so what else do we need to do we could use some more pine trees I chopped down all of our previous ones let's go ahead and send them out here while we just do a bunch of building I guess um actually you know what you could do a lot of clearing right here just clear out this whole little bit of area that would be nice. And then go ahead and just clear out a bunch of these. That would be pretty sweet too. And then you can clear out a bunch of these. And then we're actually going to do... Um, I'll get rid of one of these blocks so you guys don't have to walk all the way around. I'll be nice. Okay. Right? What am I trying to do here? Mine wall. I'm trying to highlight this one. But it's not letting me. There we go. Okay. Du, 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 du. So they're building, they're hauling. Let's go build some mechanical walls. Uh, and then we gotta link them all up, which is gonna be fun. So, mechanical walls, I wanna say are mechanism base and then just metal. Let's see if I'm right. Mechanical wall? Yep, mechanical base and any bar. Ah, two bars. So, let's go ahead and do two malachite ones, which is exactly what we want. So make two of those. We've already got the lever. We're gonna need a lot more stuff. Oh shoot. Oh shoot guys, I just realized we can't actually finish this wall today. I forgot, we have to power these things and we didn't get the windmills, which I thought were gonna come in this one. <laughs> Dang. Um, like we can build them, but I think they're gonna either stay completely down. Like they basically, you put them down and they replace the floor and the wall, so they go up and down, up and down. And um, I forgot that either they're going to stay up or they're going to stay down because there's no power to them. So I thought windmills came with that same research. So we have to go a little bit longer, but that's completely fine. Um, now that I know, well, I was saving those for the windmills too. That's fine. Let's go ahead and build the workshop. I guess we're going to go back to our original plans. Oh, so psyched to build the death box. Okay, furniture, um, workshops. So the jewelry is pretty cool. It's like pretty much if you have extra metal and you have these gems, you can use them. That's basically all it uses in this part. So we need a gem cutter though, because this is raw stone. So we basically we have to cut them down until they're pretty. So we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use some nice stuff. We're gonna use the birch, and then we're gonna use this copper cutting wheel. We're gonna put that right there and then we're gonna do the jewelry which is oh, I just missed it didn't I smelter jeweler right there so again we're gonna do birch and birch and then this uses a file so use a copper file for that and bam very nice so 
I'll stick all those in there. I completely forgot to make that. No, I did. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. So apparently, they don't stick gems in there on raw ones, maybe. Or did I not select the raw gems? <laughs> Very well. No, I did. I did draw gems and cut gems. Okay. So lesson learned. Raw gems don't go in a box. So you have lots and lots of room for those. Oddly enough, we've only found blue ones. There's blue, green, and I want to say maybe red. Maybe I have found green, but I just haven't bothered to mine them. But we have found actually quite a bit of blue. Oh, yep, there we go. There's emeralds. I want to say there's rubies in here too. I could be mistaken. But that's about it. I don't think there's diamonds and all that. Okay, so we do have a person that's in charge of this, so we might as well go ahead and have them do some stuff. Because it's just the one person. Um, they are the cook, doc, and jeweler. So, hospital, not do anything. Workshop, oh shoot. Okay, so we're going to have to do um, agriculture. Let's turn those two off for then. So that they just solely do jewelry. Otherwise, I'd have to do the... Well... No, I don't. I just realized that. Okay, agriculture. Go back. Cooking, brewing. We just make it a higher priority so they actually do it. And then the miscellaneous craft is just that hauling. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to make these priorities higher so that no matter what, he always goes here to go do them first if we decide to make a bunch of jewelry. So we got to cut the gems. Pretty simple. It's just like turning raw stone into blocks. So we're going to have him cut a few of those sapphires. And then afterwards, he can make different stuff. He doesn't have to actually make everything out of gems. So if you don't find gems or you don't want to bother mining them, it's fine. He can use uh, metal. So here we go. Any bar, we can make rings. We can make gem ring, which is what you use the gems for. Just uses the bar and the cut gem. You can make a necklace, which is two bars. Or you can make a gem necklace, which is two bars and the gem. So it just it makes it a little bit nicer, you know, if you use the gems because it increases the worth. And there's not much else he can do with gems. Um, and I mean you could trade them straight as is if you really didn't want to or you didn't have anyone skilled with jewelry stuff but this person I think was pretty skilled that's why I had them a special job <laughs> multitasker with a title alright so they're going ahead and making the mechanical walls how many axles did that make because I'm gonna probably need quite a bit um, items mechanism parts so we have eight rods, four gears, three springs, and mechanism base. What else did we need? We can make axles out of the rods. I want to say we needed a gearbox. Yes. Okay. We can make one of those too, but we need another mechanism base. So malachite and go ahead make two of those. Basically, what it works. It's very technical how this machining works. Um, Everything needs power except for the basic spike and sword drops. They're kind of like pressure activated ones. Um, but most of these other things like the mechanical walls and there's like trap doors. You can actually have those power too so you can turn them on and off. Uh, they have to have power like I said before. You can use hand crank. You can use windmills which are really efficient and nice. Only trouble is um, they don't really work underground compared to other ones. Like I think if you dug a hole and then another hole and another hole and they had some like air surface somehow I want to say he could do it but he did. that's a lot of digging if you wanted to go deep and do windmills but then there's steam powered which uses just a steam engine and then you throw coal in there which is pretty cool but it's just it uses coal so you have to constantly have coal going um, but I like the windmills because I usually don't do much too much mechanical stuff I kinda keep it simple I don't do much that's why I have warriors they do most of the bulk of the fighting. Uh, the mechanical walls just make it easier and I can kind of fine-tune what we fight and when we fight it basically like we've been doing. So they actually finished. Oh no, they must have went to sleep. That's cool. Um, <laughs> lazy bum. Uh, so let's see. So then you have to connect them with the gears and then in order to have the gears, each gear uses a little bit of that power so you have to have more wind power to, you know, cover the power and then you have to have these gearboxes which are like basically like intersections wherever you have a gear turn because they don't actually bend they're straight you have to have a gearbox and that uses power too and then if you wanted to you could have one beer gearbox connected to power and then it could power like three things at once it's pretty cool 
and very technical how this gets. Like, if you want to wiki this, there are some crazy traps that people make where it's pretty much self powered. <laughs> Meaning, once it's set up, the goblins come in, they step on a pressure plate, the floors disappear, they go in the hole, and it basically, like, they pretty much just keep killing themselves. It's crazy. Like, you have a bunch of walls, and a bunch of guys are going, and then the first guy steps on this uh, trip, uh, well, pressure plate. The walls behind him go and smash all of his buddies. He falls down a hole, and then it repeats. <laughs> it's just really crazy stuff how people think of killing goblins. Again, what is this? Why is this this little logo? Stock item item. Oh, wait. Task on... A bit, bit. Task stock items. I don't know what you're stocking here. That sounds wrong, but I mean items. What are you putting items from? There's no stocking allowed in Nomaria. <laughs> I really don't know what those are for. There's nothing there on the floor. Okay. You guys are picking up all the wood. Perfect. We're going to have to redo all this now. Um, da -da -da -da. You got so much straw going. That's sweet. Actually, we probably won't even have to bother too much of this. So let's go ahead and suspend some of these so that they don't bother, you know, harvesting them. Like, don't even bother. We only have like five animals and we already have straw for them. We can always harvest this for straw. So, do, 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 what is. Oh my God. I guess that's a priority. Goblin corpses. We need to butcher all these before they disappear. Luckily, nothing. Well, sadly, I mean. Nothing lost a limb. They all died intact. Okay, there they go. They're gonna go harvest all that. Um, actually, we could set this to. Oh, wait, no, that's a kitchen. <gasps> I completely forgot, guys. I made a bunch more stuff. That's why I had so many extra workbenches. Um, I decided we need more s food production. Like, I think I have, I don't know, four, six people that are supposed to be producing food, and they're constantly making food. The trouble is, I don't have enough workstations, I think. I just realized this after this whole time. Um, so we need a kitchen, which is, uh, why didn't I make a box side table? Was I going to make another butcher table? I could have been doing that. Or did I not realize it needs a table? That's fine. We'll use bauxite. Uh, we'll use pine, and then we'll use a knife. Okay. I think that's what I did. I accidentally forgot that these needed tables. Actually, I think that's exactly what I did. We need another butcher table. Anyways, okay. Workshop. Um, butcher shop. We use the bauxite. I like using it because, you know, in my mind, it's easier to clean. And then we'll stick that right there for now. I know we're gonna move this stuff eventually, but that's easy part. It's moving. So we need to make more tables. So we need three, two more tables? Yeah. We have to make more tables. Okay. Whew. See, I should write some of this stuff down that I have to remember to do things. To-do list in No More. You're picking up all the wood. Perfect. You're chopping down... We don't need any more birch. It's fine, you already started, but I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, we don't need any more birch. I'm not using that much. Just spend. No more. No more birch. Holy cow. Yeah, they already caught these, so I might as well... Oh, now they're not going to go do it. That's cool. Um, Yeah, go ahead and do the pine trees. There's, we need more pine. Constantly need pine. As soon as they pick that up, too. Are we all out of space for the wood, too? I need just more stuff, guys. Pine? No. Pine's all empty. I guess it's other wood that they haven't gone to. Uh, da -da -da. And he's doing sticks. I guess what we could do is... Oh, we gotta make these beds. So I've been making the fancier beds for the warriors out of apple, so we could tell the difference. And they're using wool mattresses. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Go forth and make these beds, somebody. Please. And then the warriors can get even better sleep now, because we have so much wool, might as well. And then we might as well start production on some more mattresses. So let's see, wool mattress. Craft to oh, they already got that set. See, I'm so smart. I already had that set, so might as well do this too. So we want wool. Wool. And just straw, because there's nothing there. Move that up to um, above padding, craft to six so that they can work on the same thing. I will slowly start replacing beds when we get the chance with uh, these nicer beds. First priority is, of course, warriors. 
and then we'll start doing the workers and then you know everyone will have one by then and there we go um how's our worth doing oh my goodness 106,529 imagine if we had that great hole activated <laughs> that'd be so big we might try it one day like we just fought those guys, and that was actually a lot easier than I was thinking it was going to be. We do have range troops. That was the big thing. Is I wanted range troops before we got even farther. I think we could do it. Activate the Great Hall before, let's see, fall. No, summer. And then we could maybe get two, three, maybe gnomes. Hopefully. The trouble is, the higher you're worth, the harder it gets to get more gnomes. So pretty soon you're going to get like one gnome, and then eventually no gnomes because unless you're going into crazy crazy production and building everything out of metal it gets really hard to get that last bit like eventually we're gonna have to do that like start replacing bedrooms with metal the great hall with metal metal statues instead of stone statues all of them it gets crazy 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 high worth just to get any gnome coming in but there we go i will see you guys later and i'm just gonna let these guys you know work i'll crack the whip on them bye